Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you a date night makeup tutorial for brown skin tones. I think this smokey eye is really, really beautiful. And I'm also going to include a mini hair tutorial just so I can show you how I put these really loose, relaxed bend sort of curl in my hair. Just a little bit of texture because otherwise my hair does fall pretty straight. This is one of those type of looks that you can really dress it up with anything, any type of clothing that you own. You can even change out this lipstick and use any lipstick you want because the rest of the face is pretty neutral we've got those neutral browns going on so you can wear a berry lip a red lipstick go with a really nude lip or go with a bit of a brown look that i've got today so i think this is definitely a very very versatile look for many occasions and i think it looks particularly sexy for date night just because we've got a bit of that sultriness going on with the eyes so let's get right into it first up i'm going to color correct using the nars radiant creamy color corrector and i'm using the shade medium and just going to apply that under my eyes as well as around my mouth area i have done a review comparison of this shade with medium deep so if you're interested have a look at that i'm just applying this corrector around my mouth as well now I want to apply a liquid highlighter as always. I normally use my Charlotte Tilbury, but today I want to try something different. And I'm sure you're sick of seeing me use Charlotte Tilbury as well. Today I want to try the M Cosmetics Cushion Highlighter. So this is not a new product, but it's new to me. And this is the shade Halo. It's got a little teeny tiny cushion, which looks very cute. And then the highlighter is just inside here. Oh, that is very, very pretty. Oh gosh, I think I'm going to really love this highlighter. That's stunning. Whew, check that out. Okay, we're gonna pick up some more and just going to apply. So this is what the highlighter looks like. It's quite reflective, but it's not super shimmery. And I'm just gonna go and take my brush and I'm just going to blend it out. That's beautiful. What do you guys think? Beautiful, beautiful highlighter. This is the shade Halo. I'm just gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I have the shade Medium, and I'm just going to pop some powder in my oily areas. Um, adding some powder before your foundation really, really helps control that oil. So I am going to do that today. I'm just going to apply a good amount of this, not too much, but a decent amount of this right in the areas that I'm oily. All right, next up foundation. So I'm going to go with one of my top favorite foundations. It's the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I have done a whole review with a wear test on this. This foundation is beautiful. My shade is 3 Warm Olive. I feel like this is one of the, the closest match I have in terms of shade, and I really love it, both the finish as well as the shade. So I've got my foundation on and I'm actually going to go with a damp beauty blender today and I'm going to blend all this out. So I've dampened my sponge and I'm going to go ahead and pat this in. And that highlighter still peeks through the foundation. That's beautiful. So foundation is on. I have kept the finish medium coverage i didn't want to have too much foundation showing through so just really just medium coverage and i really like how that looks what i'm going to do is conceal this pimple mark right here i've got a sample of the nars soft matte concealer this is shade ginger and i have been loving this as a spot concealer and just from the the cap i'm going to pick up a small amount this is a sigma concealer brush f70 and I'm just going to apply that to the pimple. See that? And I find that this shade, Ginger, is like a perfect match for me as a spot concealer. Whew, that looks fantastic. For concealer, I'm going to go with Pat McGrath LM13. So LM13 is quite a brightening concealer for me and I love it for that reason. This is not an everyday concealer shade for me, but definitely on special occasions, events, if I'm going out, that type of thing, I love using LM13. So I'm going to pop this right under here. 
and I'm gonna go with that same damp beauty blender and just going to spread this out And I'm going to apply some to my eyelid as well. So any residual concealer that is still on my beauty blender, I'm just going to add it right into the center of the forehead. And right here. Okay, now for powder, I'm gonna use Huda Beauty Easy Bake. I have the shade Blondie. This is a, one of those powders that I don't use every day, but I love it for special occasions because it gives a really flawless under eye and it also looks really great on camera, mainly because it's very matte. This is a very matte powder and it looks matte under the eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this and just set my eyelids with this powder as well. Now for the smoky eyes. Lots of different ways to do a smoky eye. And today I want to show you a smoky eye using cream eyeshadows. So I have been kind of obsessed with Elise Fast lately. I picked up three of these cream eyeshadows and I cannot stop using these. This is an incredible, incredible formula. So I've got the shades E126 and 103. I'm just going to pop them on the screen so you can... So I've got these two shades right here and I'm just going to show you how I use these to create a beautiful smoked out smoky eye. So first up I'm going to use 126 which is a beautiful brown shade. This is what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a good amount of this to my eye. Now this is a type of cream eyeshadow that doesn't set very quickly. So you do have time to blend, you have time to play with it. Today I'm going a little bit heavier than I did for my Bite Beauty video just because I want you to see how pigmented and how beautifully rich this color is. I mean just look at that. That is so, so incredibly stunning. And now what I'm going to do is just pick up MAC 217 blending brush and I am just going to blend the edges out. Do you see how easy it is to blend? And right at the edge I'm just going to... I mean just look at that. How easy is this eyeshadow? And all I'm doing is really just blending the edges. I am not touching this main section here. It's just about blending that those edges out. And winging it out a little bit. Now I'm going to use the black cream eyeshadow from Ellis Fass. And this is what the black one looks like. It's a beautiful, rich, creamy black. You can see that. And I'm going to take off some excess because I don't want to apply too much of this. And what I'm going to do is just apply this pretty close to the lash line. It doesn't need to be precise. This is not an eyeliner or an eye pencil. I just want to get that pigment on there. And then what I'm going to do is take my pinky finger and I'm just going to tap just where the black is. And the goal is to just diffuse the black into the brown. Again, you don't need to be super careful or cautious with this. I'm going to take some off, some off because I applied a little bit too much than I wanted. And I'm just going to now work this in. And then you're kind of just mixing the two shades together on the lid. I'm going to do the same on the other side and I'll be back. So for under the eyes, I'm going to go back into that brown shade. I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to take Wayne Goss brush number 07 and I'm just going to blend this in. Gosh, I love this cream eyeshadow. It just blends so easily and I'm going to take it all the way in and then out. 
So now that I've got both sides blended out, I'm gonna take this brush. This is from the brand What's Up Beauty. So you can see the difference between the two brushes. So with the brown, I used this brush under my wash line because I wanted a thicker um, application. Now with the black, I'm gonna go in with this brush. You can see how tiny that is. I love how tiny this brush is. So I'm gonna go now into the black cream eyeshadow. And instead of directly applying it under my eyes, I'm going to pick it up on this teeny tiny brush and I'm going to go ahead and concentrate that in my lower lash line. You see how pigmented and black this cream eyeshadow is? I mean, it's really incredible. It's creamy, it's blendable, it's super black. Oh my God, I love it. Seriously, I am dying over these products. Now I'm going to take my Shiseido Kajol Ink Artist. This is the black one in Nippon Noir. I'm going to go ahead and tight line just my upper waterline. What I've also just done, just with the Shiseido Kajol Ink Artist, I've just drawn in a thin line. You can kind of see that thin line just very close to my lash line because I we want to create some dimension with this look we've got the brown we've got the smudged and black eyeshadow and now I just wanted something very very black right at the base of that lash line to create some depth and so I've gone in with this because it's a very nice dark rich black liner and then I'm going to go in with just with a black eyeshadow and just focus that right on top of this gel liner and that will really intensify that black. Now, my favorite brush to use for that, sometimes you have so many brushes and you just can't find the one you're looking for. Where is it? Found it. I'm gonna go with the Van Gogh's brush 08, which is super, super tiny. You can see that. If you can't get a hold of this, you can also use, I found a dupe. It's not an exact dupe though because this has a lot longer bristles, which means slightly less control, but it's also quite thin. This is from Morphe, and this is M160. And all I'm gonna do is just going to concentrate this black eyeshadow right on top of that black gel liner. And you can already see, so I haven't cut, done my whole eye, but I've only done up to here. And you can tell how dark and black that looks. Just in a stippling motion because that gel liner is slightly tacky and it grips onto that black eyeshadow really, really well. And that's that. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to run it through right here. just at the lash line. Great thing with creams is that you're not gonna get any fallout. So I don't have any fallout under my eyes, which is amazing. Um, so I will do my eyebrows and my lashes later. And now I wanna apply some bronzer. So I'm gonna use the Kosas bronzer in the shade medium. I love this bronzer, it's so beautiful, especially because I really want that, that bronzed skin glow. I, yeah, that's, that's what I want. So I'm going to take my Shikahodo brush, which is quite a huge brush. Place that right at an angle. Tap, tap, tap. And blend. See how beautiful this bronzer is? Oh my gosh. Don't want to go too bronzer heavy today, so I think that's how much bronzer that I want. Just going to apply this on my forehead and then take it down a little bit as well. Next up, I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta She So LA Cream Blush Duo and I'm gonna first go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna use Wayne Goss brush number 14. Just gonna pick up a small amount and I'm really gonna focus it right here
and that looks very very nice I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit more and I'm really just warming up the cheek and we're gonna go in with the cream blush as well so I don't want to make this too dark and I think that's really about it and do the same on this side Now I'm going to go into this cream with my hourglass brush number two and just pop this right on top. See that? And that goes right on top. Really, really love this blush. I think it's probably one of the most unique products in my blush collection. That's beautiful. I've added just a hint of it just on my nose as well. Now for brows, I'm just going to go with my Benefit Precisely Eye Pencil. And this is the shade 6. And I'm just going to fill in kind of the sparser areas for my brows. And I'm being very rough with this. You guys know I don't really have patience for eyebrows. So I don't do a lot when it comes to eyebrows. And because I want my eyebrows to be really dark and thick, well, as much as possible, I am going to go in with one of my favorite brow products, which is the MAC, um, what is it called? The MAC Fiber Gel. And this is in the shade Stud. This is the darkest shade that it comes in. And I love how it just makes my eyebrow hair really fluffy and really dark. And it also shapes them really well. I mean, I'm not sure if you just saw that. And so I'm going to go ahead and darken my brow hair with this. So you can see how much more darker this brow looks compared to this one here. So I've curled my lashes and added my Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. This is the waterproof version. And I've added a nice thick coating, especially to the lower lash line, because I really want it to look nice and dark. Next, I'm going to go with my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm going to set the middle of my face. I'm going to go ahead and pop that right in the forehead. A little bit on the nose, cheek. in the sides of the mouth. Now I think today I want to go with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Mrs. Kisses. I want to diffuse the look of this just a little bit so I'm going to go in with a brown lip liner. This is Patrick Ta Oshi Single and I'm just going to line my lips with this okay now i'm going to do my hair i'm going to try and attempt to do my hair while on camera i haven't done this before i'm not sure how it's going to work because i don't have a mirror in front of me but we will see so for my hair all i did was wash my hair then i applied kerastase blow dry cream so this is this one right here and i kind of applied that all over my hair blow dried my hair nothing fancy just whipped my hair down put the blow dryer through my hair so it was dry and now i am going to use a ghd just to put some waves some bend through the hair and i have just a standard ghd right here so i'm just going to plug that in now okay so while my flat iron is heating i am going to comb through my hair just with a tangled teaser comb and just going to make sure there are no knots. So I'm going to take up this top layer and just going to secure that away from my face. And that way I only have this side of my hair to work with for now. All right, so I'm going to take a piece from the back and just going to put the GHD through, twist away from my hair, one, two, three, and release. And this is just going to add just a little bit of that wave right at the back there. And that's really all I want for my hair. I just want a little bit of that wave. I don't want anything too curly or too structured. So in, twist, one, two, three, and release. 
So when I do one, two, three, it's kind of like a little bit of a guide for me. So one, two, three, I go slow and then release quickly because I don't want to curl the ends of my hair. And then I'm going to go ahead, pick up this part. One, two, three, and release. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up here, twist, one, two, three. I have a travel size version of the Kevin Murphy bedroom spray and I am just going to spray that right here. Just a little bit far away. Mmm, this smells so good. And now I'm just going to use this part of my hair that I had secured away. Make sure there are no knots. And I am going to start off with the back side and do the exact same thing. One, two, three, and release. It is very hard to see you guys. This is a really fail hair tutorial. I swear to God, I have to get better at this. This is kind of it. This is really what I do, guys. I just kind of do very roughly with curls, with the GHD, and of course, then I will spray it. So I'm just going to let these cool a little bit while I do this side. Hey, guys. So this is the final look, and the hair was really quick and easy, and I hope that was a little bit helpful. The hair tutorial part of it was definitely a little bit difficult for me to do. Maybe next time it will be better. But this is what the look looks like. I really, really loved creating a smoky eye with these Ellie's Fast Cream eyeshadows. I think they are absolutely beautiful. They are extremely expensive, but they are so incredibly effortless to use that I think, I think they're worth the money. Well, at least I was willing to pay for three of these shades. And I am still eyeing a few more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.